Hi, and welcome to Words That Matter, a modern day book club. And I'm the host, Lee Smith. Thanks so much for being here with us today. Um, we have a really special show, really interesting show, fascinating guest, a gentleman, uh, a financier, um, but also a man uh, vastly knowledgeable uh, about history and who's actually engaged in, in a really important and fascinating project. He and I have spoken about this before, and basically the project is sort of documenting the current moment, our current moment, wholly uh, and understanding it in historical terms. And eventually, I hope we're going to talk to him and find out if this is true, if he's writing a history of this moment as well. But what he's really thinking about, his model is Thucydides, um, the great, uh, one of the original historians, along with Herodotus and, of course, the Peloponnesian Wars. Um, so welcome, please, the great Adam Townsend. Adam, thank you so much for being here with us today. And thank you so much for having me here today. All right, so let's talk about this a little bit. I know there's, I, I know the, the, first of all, your project is uh, uh, broad uh, and, and enormous, and Thucydides is broad and enormous. And I know that you want to narrow the scope of our uh, discussion a little bit, um, but let's start off with what your project, with what this project is, why Thucydides is important, and what else we need to understand. I know we're getting into all sorts of territory here, and I know we're not going to be able to cover even a fraction of it in the half an hour we have, but let's go. This is going to be a great conversation. Okay. Um, and that's, uh, that's actually difficult for me to respond to. I'd <laughs> like right. to respond to that, but it, it's so broad. Why do you think Thucydides is important? Well, I mean, I, I mean Thucydides is, the, uh, along with Herodotus, one of the fathers of history. Um, and he's explaining what happened at this pivotal moment when Athens lost, uh, Athens forfeited, uh, I wouldn't say lost, I'd say forfeited its democracy. And is that, is, I'm going to turn it around right back on you. Is that why you're thinking about the current moment in these terms? Do you think that we're losing, forfeiting our own uh, political system, which is an exact, which is hardly exactly like Athenian democracy. But is this what interested you about Thucydides to begin with? It's what interested me about Thucydides to begin with. Um, so I'll, uh, I, I think it's very difficult to look at Thucydides and try and kind of uh, apply it like onion skin upon kind of the topography of our own times. I don't think that can be done. I think it's, uh, I think it's, it's exasperating and uh, it, it requires a lot of kind of twisting to make it conform to anything that um, resembles um, Hellenic, the Hellenic era. I became interested in Thucydides um, as a kid and then I forgot about it. Right. Because we have the, uh, the rest of our life to live. Right. And uh, then around 2019, I uh, became interested. I became reinterested in Thucydides in late 2019, but really just kind of more passively, just kind of looking at the whole surface of of Thucydides, the whole th uh, surface of his work without kind of any exploration into any of its little kind of intrigues that are within it. Uh, in 2020, when uh, COVID was uh, introduced into our society and into our kind of social systems and into the way we speak and the way we interact and how it was kind of transforming language and words. And, um, and then we had, you know, the uh, Black Lives uh, Matter era right? And, you know, putting aside the social elements of it, right? Uh, because then that require, I, you know, I don't want to kind of uh, argue the social qualities of it, whether it's right or wrong or this or that, but just in terms of the brute force of it, and um, kind of reminded me of Coursera. Coursera. Um, so, so in answer, hold on, if, I'm just, if, I, if I, I could answer your question. Well, I'm, I, w I just want you to uh, very quickly, you know, what, what, what is Coursera? I mean, I just want to make sure that all of our, you know, that we're, we're all uh, okay. informed because there's so going to be, there's going to be some time that people will have not have read Thucydides in a while or maybe not at all. So let's give them the benefit of the. Okay. 
Um, okay, so Coursera is, I think, if I recall correctly now, I think it's book three, one, a uh, book three, 81 through 87, but approximately like 83 through 87, approximately, right? It's off the top of my head. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Right. Um, <laughs> Coursera was a, it was a civil war, and there was a civil war that was raging throughout the entire Hellenic world. And um, Coursera is probably only about four pages. The conflicts within Coursera, that civil war that was raging, uh, Thucydides describes it very um, elegantly, very economically. It's only four pages long, but it's, it's mind-blowing. It's, it's absolutely mind-blowing because he describes kind of the tumult, the, this kind of twist and this violent kind of contortions of society in, in, in such a way that I feel that we're living it now. So uh, it's interesting because there are several books, if this is a book thing, right? So I'll discuss that have kind of had a significant impact on my life. And one of them was uh, um, Letters to Lucilius from Seneca, where I felt I was kind of uh, encountering my long lost father and the advice that uh, my long lost father uh, would be giving me. And because it just seems so kind of real, it seems so now, it seems so current to me. And there are parts of Thucydides, including, you know, in his description of the Civil War, that just seem so current where I can see it now. And the, the book is not uh, entirely about war. It's about the behaviors that drove, that drove the conflict and the war. And it's about the kind of political and domestic, the intrigues of war. Um, and so his book was kind of written for all of time. And um, I do consider myself somewhat Thucydides. That's a horrible thing for me to say because it, it's, it's, there's, it's so vainglorious that uh, I say that uh, kind of uh, smirking inside because I know it's not true, but it, it's simple to say, so I'll say it simply. Uh, and because these times need... It's important, to, it's important right? to have good but models. When I, when I, it's important to have very good models. So I think that's okay. I'm happy you say that. Well, so the, the important thing I think is is one of the things that I learned very quickly uh, in watching kind of COVID and the hysteria. And I was against the COVID tyranny literally from the day it began, which was January 23rd, January 24th, 2020, is when those videos dropped on Twitter, right? And all of a sudden we saw all these leaked leaked videos of people collapsing. And I, I, I was certain that it wasn't real. And it looked to me very similar to what China had done earlier uh, with um, the um, the Olympics, remember that uh, they they had used the Olympics. They had used all that kind of uh, industrial activity to cloak the uh, construction of new camps and new internment facilities, and um, they had done the same thing for the World's Fair, right? Um, for for their own kind of uh, World's Fair, how they had used that activity to kind of cloak their own thing. But so most importantly. I think Thucydides, going back to that, right, is important because it's we all, and I include you within this, so you're, you're part of the all, we all have to learn how to tell ourselves this story, right? So Thucydides is important uh, because he, he conceived of a way to tell a story, to tell a very sweeping, very highly complex story, uh, and narrow it down ah. to not just kind of it, it's narr it's it's narrative structure but what he decided to include with it the speeches that he kind of embellished are 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 very important and he acknowledges embellishing them but because what's very important is we learn how to tell ourselves this story of what's going on we are living in um kind of a carcera ourselves right but we're living in such a time of disequilibrium, of emotional, of intellectual, of academic, of societal disequilibrium and distortions, we have to learn how to tell ourselves this story. I love this how idea. How do I explain to myself? How do I explain to myself what's going on? Uh, how can I tell myself this story? 
uh, Biden is screwing things up. Now, somebody might believe that. So I'm not going to argue. Or I'm just going to I'm just going to use that as a statement and throw it out into the into the wild. If somebody believes so, most people will will look at kind of what's going on in society and they'll try and sum it up. They'll try and make it this kind of cognitive postage stamp. Right. And that's dangerous. Right. We try and abbreviate things to uh, we try and have a, we, we have been instructed and conditioned to have discourse with ourself, which is uh, uh ourselves as kind of the, the stupidest person in the room, right? We're, <laughs> we're, we're, we have to learn how to have true uh, quality discourse with ourselves, which means that we have to have the language, we have to have the ideas, we've got to elevate things. So if we want to talk about how to repair a society and how to have this renewal of a society, we also need the language for that. And we need to be able to have that discourse first with ourselves. So I think Thucydides is extremely important because he's a, um, his history um, tells us how we can explain uh, our own history to ourselves. How do I explain what's going on now? Well, I can just say something like, well, you know, Biden is screwing things up and here and here. Um, I can even get a little bit more complex and into the weeds, but that doesn't do a very good job of explaining the entire system of a thing, of the way the pieces interact with each other, the way they engage with each, with each other. And that's something that Thucydides did very, very well. It's the Millenian Dialogues and it's everything where he, uh, where he, he takes a very complex system, right? And very uh, complex conflicts that were going on that were life and death conflicts. Uh, and he... Uh, he he kind of examines it in in three in three sixty, and that's something we have to teach ourselves how to do. So Thucydides is important, just as Machiavelli is important, because it gives us the language. We all think we're very smart, right? All of us have such a high elevated opinion of ourselves. But then, if you were to if if I was to assign somebody uh, homework and say, well, write down you know what you think of COVID tyranny or that era. They, were, they, they couldn't do it. They think they could because all the thoughts in their head are so brilliant and so remarkable, but they find that those thoughts can't cross the transom so that it makes sense to other people. So you first have to learn how to explain it to yourself so that it can cross the transom because we need to rebuild society, but we can't rebuild society unless we have the language, the discourse, the intellectual capacity, and the history to do it. That's it. That, so that, that's my Thucydides that's, spiel. That's amazing. I love that idea. And this is what you learn from Thucydides and you think that others can learn as well. I mean, it's, it's fantastic. It's a remarkably complex time. It's a remarkably complex... Well, I, is, it a, is it a very complex time? Or is actually every time hugely complex? And some of them... But the times that will always seem most complex are the times that we are living in the times that we are trying to explain, as you say to yourselves. So is this particular moment especially complicated? That, yes. The, the one that we're living in, question. not necessarily you, fitted to this. Yes, yes. I'm going to ask you a question, okay? Um, you're familiar with um, the Hellenic Civil War and the Athenian, the Athenian Civil Wars, of course, right? Uh, perhaps, maybe not, of course, but I, actually I'm certain you are uh, because of your own interest in, in the tyrants of, of, of that era and, and kind of the... Uh, kind of the political operating system and the transformations that, it, that occurred in a very short, brief amount of time in that period. So how did that Hellenic civil war and Corsaira and Athens, how did that civil war end? Because that's also what Thucydides is about. Now you'll find that that answer is not in Thucydides. We've only, we leave Corsaira um, and we leave Thucydides when the world is still upside down. Now I want to explore how the world uh, remedied itself. And so that's not in Thucydides. That requires further exploration of what happened in Athens uh, that allowed them to resolve uh, all these conflicts uh, internally and allow them to end the civil war and to end it in the most uh, amicable type of resolution that could be achieved. I know that what 
what, what we're going to launch into is going to be big and it's going to be important. So that's why I want to take just less than a minute now to cut away with the fantastic conversation with Adam Townsend here uh, talking about how Thucydides can help us understand and explain to ourselves what's going on this particular moment. And I, I, there's so much more to ask. I told you we were only going to get to uh, a, a fraction of what I want to speak about with Adam. But if you're watching on YouTube, please uh, make the jump with us. We're going exclusively to Epoch TV. And as you can see, you don't want to miss a second um, of the great Adam Townsend. It's fantastic. We'll see you in a second. Make the jump back to Epoch TV exclusively. Help yourself. I'm not really sure how long this whole exercise is supposed to last. A lot of you have read his books, may even have watched uh, a movie. No, I don't even think of him that way. He's old. Lately, he has become the co-editor of a brand new magazine called County Highway. We had a 10,000 word uh, piece about uh, traveling to see a Taylor Swift concert. You know, we have stories about everything from the wheat harvest in Kansas to, you know, an animal attack in Iowa to, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, the barroom storytelling in the current issue of a bunch of old cowboys in Elko, Nevada. This is a magazine about America in the form of a 19th century newspaper. It exists only as a newspaper, and it's the only one in the sense that we treat the country as a giant small town. We are one big family.